House Speaker Paul Ryan is calling for party unity ahead of his Thursday meeting with Donald Trump. Ryan jolted the party last Thursday when he said he wasn't ready to endorse Trump. And exactly a week after making those remarks, he's sitting down with the Republican frontrunner at RNC headquarters in Washington. Here's what Ryan says about that meeting. We need a real unification of our party, which, you know, look, after a tough primary, that's going to take some effort. We are committed to putting that effort in. I want to be a part of that unifying process so that we're at full strength this fall so that we can win this election. I don't really know him. Uh, I met him once in person in 2012. We had a very good conversation in March on the phone. Um, we just need to get to know each other. And we, as a leadership team, um, are enjoying the fact that we have a chance to meet with him. Leslie Sanchez <laughs> is a CVSN political contributor and Republican strategist. All right, so Leslie, what is it that you're going to be looking for out of this meeting taking place? Sure. It, a, a lot of what's obviously coming out of the meeting, you're going to look for an agreement on money. This is really fundamentally, I think, when you certainly have Chairman, uh, the RNC Chairman, uh, Ryan Priebus, in there, it's about fundamentally setting up, as building on what Major Garrett was saying, the Victory Fund, which have their own finance chairman. They have their own bundlers. It's a whole operation that kind of gets into queue and is ready to go, and it works in parallel with the party. So without the ability to accelerate that uh, at a really rapid pace, I think we're going to be at a deficit, a bigger deficit, not only financially, but politically and institutionally uh, within the Republican Party if it doesn't get moving right away. Yeah, because normally at this point in a campaign, what would be happening already? You, first, you would have already had an entire network of fundraising apparatus set up within the campaign structure that would blend over in terms of who you reached out to, kind of some sense of how they're going to build, you know, basically a billion dollar operation. And then where, what resources are, going to, are they going to use? How are they going to deploy those? There is no operation within this campaign. And a lot of the traditional bundlers, the people who go out and ask other people to write big five uh, and six figure checks, they have not even engaged in the campaign. Not yet. even at this not point. Not at all. Wow. I remember, if you may recall, I was speaking to a lot of the Rubio people who were standing down, holding their gunpowder, uh, you know, just kind of waiting to see who they'd go with. A lot of Jeb Bush people set, staying on the sidelines same kind of thing. So now it's going to, first, can we get Victory Fund going? Secondly, can we start their operation to at least get individuals to invest in Victory so that the party structure can remain healthy uh, for the campaign in November? All right, we'll be watching out for that. I also want to ask about Mitt Romney's call for Trump to release his tax returns. So, you know, most Republicans, even those who don't support Trump, have at least stopped attacking him. So at what point here is, is Mitt Romney uh, going to maybe stop? Is he like, you know, I mean, is there is there something larger here that he's trying to accomplish? Well, you you know, if you speak to the Romney folks, a lot of them will tell you that it is really his personal concern that the country is in, in, uh, in danger, quite mm -hmm. honestly, that the, the Republican Party is not really positioned well and it could have catastrophic effect. And I think when he feels that call is, is kind of really the intention to protect uh, the country and the democracy and our republic is where his people will say he's coming from. Does it come across that way? Not at all. It seems like it's self-serving. And I think the people that know him best will say that's really not in the cards. He's just very concerned about these issues. Because doesn't it give Hillary Clinton's campaign or Bernie Sanders' campaign doesn't it give them ammunition uh, as long as he kind of continues to hit their Republican sure, front presumptive nominee? This is like the vapor, like the last <laughs> piece left of the hashtag Never Trump campaign. I That's see. what this is. Mm -hmm. Just like, you know, just the final pieces of the last few people that have not accepted that Donald Trump will be the nominee and they can't stop him at convention procedurally, maybe third party. But then, as we know, it's a 99.9 percent .9 ineffective solution. So it's really kind of the last ditch effort to try to unify around an anti-Trump cause.